That was a good recap there. Mm -hmm. Well, millions of people across the country, by the way, likely impacted by a massive snowstorm this week. It's expected to bring heavy snow, some strong winds, freezing rain, even severe thunderstorms. Uh, the states up there on the coast, some even could see around three feet mm -hmm. of snow. So, you know, you start getting to late February, and you almost think you're out of this up there, and they know they're not. You're not. Yeah. No, you're coast not. Coast to coast. Yeah. 3,000 miles plus. Yeah. I mean, Ooh. incredible snow amounts, up to three feet. And there may be an element of severe thunderstorms in the southern edge of the storm. Right. And, and it, what's interesting is we're going to avoid all of that because our weather here Ooh, is going to yeah. be absolutely glorious over High the next several days. High pressure is flexing right, right now off the Atlantic seaboard. What is it doing, Jamie? Flexing. Flexing. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting by. Take a look. I do want to begin with our, our coast-to-coast snowstorm. Again, 3,000 miles there from Portland over to Boston, Mass. And you can see all the way down to the desert south and west, the muggy on rim of northern Arizona right around Flagstaff through the four corners. There we go through the Great Lakes and boom all the way over to the northeastern United States. So we're talking again three feet of snow in certain locations. A doozy as we call it. Dense fog advisory has popped up this morning. Allison and I are monitoring closely here for our friends out in our Fox 51 W OGX television family. Your viewership up there we got you covered and then that expands through Sumter County the I-75 corridor right down the turnpike and through Lake County. Right now there are segments of patchy fog developing over the eastern third here behind me but the lion's share of these very low visibilities are all out over the west. So we look at the fog forecast. We know it's there. I want to let you know when it's going to be leaving, right? Makes your commute a little easier uh, as we get through about mid-morning. You can see that foggy veil begins to slowly skinny up, begins to shuffle northbound through 7 and bam, 9 o'clock. It's gone only to possibly return later tonight. And our concern with that, friends, by tomorrow morning is that maybe some of this fog mixes with some of the smoke from some of the controlled burns there across southern Sumter and Lake counties uh, that also can bring about some very very low visibilities when it's all said and done we've seen it time and time again sometimes we call it super fog and not saying it's going to happen but there is that potential so myself and then Brooks Garner tonight Fox 35 news at 5 he'll get you covered for the overnight hours as we get more model data in temperatures in now generally through the 60s this is tip and tiny Lisette Jenkins and Bunnell and Flagler send that to us for the forecast today and for the dog walkers whoo it's going to be a warm one forecast highs going well into the 80s today. The exception low 80s at the coast as the Atlantic sea breeze keeps things a little cooler there by the afternoon. Winter Garden today peak high at about 88 down the 84 for that drive home at 5 and then wake up temps tomorrow generally milder 60s with that patchy fog around. So bottom line storm track stays to the north. That means any weather that tries to drop southbound is stopped by the high. Watch at our forecast model and the Fox model. Here comes a front everyone. Will it cool us down? Will it bring us rain? I think Think not. It goes stationary over northern Florida, and it looks as though, again, with that lack of rain, we're looking at the drought monitor, and the, the numbers continue to rise in regard to that. We're dry across the East Central Peninsula and now phasing into more of a moderate drought type scene over our northern county. So we hope we pray for rain, but it does not look great. I'll tell you that now. It looks like rain chance Tuesday, 20%, a warm high remaining there in the upper 80s, a low there at 61. Time